What's going on, y'all? Y'all. So <laughs> Tyler, if you ain't get one show right, bitch, you got this one right because I don't know why. And I say it again. This is my favorite, all right? Fuck it. This is my favorite, girl. Listen, girl, I had to adjust my stomach. I don't like the way my titties be sitting on top of my tummy. Anyway, that is too much information. Sometimes I be looking at the shit in replay. And I be like, damn, Ashley, your shit just be sitting. <laughs> Girl be looking like I be leaning back like that. Now, bitch, these things just sitting right there on top of the sun. Anyway, fuck all that, okay? This is not what we came here to do. This is sisters, okay? Tyler Perry, you got this shit a little bit right, okay? You got this shit. You be doing a little bit of misstepping here and a little misstep there in this show. But overall, bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm in it, okay? This is my favorite. What the fuck is going on? Okay, listen, okay. <laughs> This is Sisters season. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Had to get that out. This is season three. I mean, um, season four, episode two. Okay. Still waters run dry or deep, I should say. Baby, we pick up what we left off last week. <sighs> this whole situation with Hayden. Andy is like tripping balls at this point, okay? Because Andy don't know what's going on. But what she do know is that Fatima and um Zach had some issues with uh uh Mr. Hagen, okay? And Fatima is just acting like, oh my god, he did? Wow. Andy said, bitch, you don't see shock. She was like, I mean, I, I guess I just ain't got one of those shock face, but I am shocked. Here, 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 here's the thing, Andy, okay. If somebody has been bothering me, somebody just been stalking me, somebody just don't like me or I can't stand them and we had issues, if something was to happen to them, I wouldn't give a damn. And now that teens, you wouldn't give a damn either if it was you in reverse. You know what I'm saying? If you was put in that position, you know? And I was just like, you know, Fatima, this doesn't make you look right because you do look like prime suspect number one that this man is dead. And then everybody know, at least Andy know, and, you know, Zach know that you had issues with him or whatever. But then Zach is a suspect as well because he had issues with Zach because of the fact that he wanted Fatima and he felt some type of way about that. You know, so it's just like, oh, my God, what's going on? Okay, bitch. Andy made me so mad because she automatically said, as soon as Fatima said she ain't had nothing to do with it, she put all the blame on Zach. Oh, he was in jail. You know, he is a little violent. He do got a little temper, you know, all of that. I said, damn, for uh, uh, Andy, you ain't going to give him the benefit of the doubt. The man is literally trying to change his life, and you just going to put all this on him. I said, so this is how... This is how we gonna get Fatima to come in, you know, um, not Fatima, but Zatima, the new show, because it looked like uh, uh, Zach was about to go to jail for a minute because Hayden was about to snitch to the SEC, okay? But Hayden ain't here no more, so therefore, no, it ain't gonna happen. Meanwhile, at this point, Fatima just leave out, okay? She was just like, I'm good, all right? I don't know nothing that's happened. Leave it the fuck alone, uh, Andy. I don't know nothing. I said, all right, all right, cool. How are we going to set this off? When Fatima leaves out, Andy gets on the phone and she calls Zach. Zach ain't answer, so she had to leave a message. But then Zach finally do answer. And, you know, at this point, Zach is literally have an alibi. He been over there at the construction site this whole time, okay? And the fact that Andy, being that she is a lawyer, she is not giving him the benefit of a doubt. And I'm just like, I feel I feel some type of way. Like, we know that Zach has done some fucked up shit, but do you really think that he would go this far as to murder? Okay? I said, uh-uh, Andy, why are you doing this? You know? And so she said, listen, I got to talk to you. Something happened to Hayden. What? What happened to Hayden? I don't care about that nigga. Like, you know, he was messing with Fatima. I'd murder that motherfucker if I could. Oh, please don't say that shit over the phone. Don't say that over the phone, Zach. Damn. And he was like, why? What's up? Because Hayden was found dead up in the parking lot. Oh, my God. For real? Now, see, Zach gave it, uh, you know, like that shock shit. Okay? Like, damn, like, I ain't fuck with the nigga, but shit. I ain't know nothing about it. And I said, listen, Andy, now you hear the way that he sound. And you know Zach can't act. And I'm just saying this like if he was a real person, okay? He looked like the person that he looked like the type that couldn't act. 
his way out of a paper bag. I ain't talking about the uh, actor on him, but I'm talking about Zach the character. So I'm like, listen to the shock in his voice. That's the shock that you didn't get with Fatima, right? Okay, that's the shock that you heard, you know? And you really think that he's smart enough to do some shit like this by himself, especially if Fatima is saying that she didn't do nothing. Like, come on, Andy. You should have been like, okay, cool. Now I feel a little bit better that I feel like he didn't have nothing to do with it, but I'm still come over there and then I'm talk just in case something happens and they try to pin it on him or whatever so we can get this defense going. Now, now, um, Fatima came over there and <laughs> this was the best part of the episode. I am not gonna lie. This was the best part to me because, listen, Fatima came over there to the house and he was like, what's up? What's going on? Now, he trying to get out of her exactly what happened at the job. What's going on with Aiden? I heard that that nigga was dead, okay? What happened to him? But Fatima is, without really saying those words, Fatima is just like, oh, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I had a long day at work. Everything is good or whatever. Oh, yeah, he just got his ass beat up in that parking lot. Andy didn't tell me what happened. Listen, Fatima was just acting like it was a regular day, okay? Like that whole shit with Hayden never happened. And I'm just sitting here like, um, Fatima, what is going on? You're going to have to let your man in on what's happening, okay? Let him in on what's happening. Bitch, at this point in time, you know, she was like, I ain't do nothing. I ain't had nothing to do with it or whatever. It's cool, you know. You ain't got nothing to worry about, babe. Babe, babe, it's cool. Andy come up in there because Andy said she was on her way over there to talk to uh, Zach to help him out or whatever. Girl, and Andy, the smartest thing that Andy really said in this whole situation was, don't talk about this shit over the phone, okay? We are not about to talk about this over the phone at all. Let it, let, I'll talk to you when I get over there. Give me the address. So she popped up when Fatima was up in there talking to Zach. Bitch, she just said there like, listen, both y'all asses in trouble. Both y'all asses finna go to fuck to jail. And it was like, I don't know what the hell you talking about. But Fatima is just like... <laughs> I mean, whatever happened, happened, but let me just tell you this. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, Captain. Okay, we good over here. At least I'm good, you know. You you tripping. You tripping a little bit too hard, but, you know, it, it, it's funny. It's funny because Andy is like, damn, bitch, why you standing here laughing in my face? Somebody just died up in the parking lot. She was like, listen, it's video cameras and everything up in there, Okay. So, ain't nobody going to get caught on no cameras. Well, it ain't no video cameras where he parked at or whatever because Andy brought up the thing about what if this caught on tape. She said, listen, ain't no, ain't no cameras over there, so it's cool. It was like, well, you think it is, but remember when that shit happened and went down in the parking lot when I got jumped by Jasmine ass? Yeah, her and her. Well, not necessarily by her because Jasmine stood there and let them two girls beat her ass. Like they dumb self. Going to let them girls beat her ass. I said, y'all really did that? Risk going to jail? Why this bitch just stand there? She said, seek him, and y'all did it. But anyway, she was like, after that, I requested to the partners to put a video camera up in there, put some cameras up in there. Fatima said this is the only time Fatima felt a little bit shocked or a little bit worried. It, it, she kind of shook just a little bit, just a slight bit. She was like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why you ain't tell me? And I said, why would she need to tell you, Fatima, what's going on? <laughs> but then Fatima, she popped up out of that shit. She was like... Because Andy, uh, uh, um, you know, Zach, that's just like, girl, what is the issue? Why are you acting like this? We're about to get the fucking trouble, okay? She was like, ain't nobody going to jail. I'm good. Zach, good. We good, okay? You want to know why? You want to know why? Because Hayden ain't dead. I said, bitch, excuse me. You know what? I'm tired of these shows doing this shit, okay? The people that we want gone, we be thinking that they gone gone, and they really not. They just chilling up in a hospital bed, eating some free food. Well, they got to pay for that. But eating some hospital food, you know, some jello, sipping through a straw. Okay, listen, I just said, excuse me, Fatima, please explain this shit. She was like, yo, let me tell you what happened, bitch. You know, I set this whole thing up, okay? Because, listen, I was up in the car, we was talking or whatever, and he, you know, I just pop, pop, popped him a couple of times. Bitch, when she said that, Zach was like, <laughs> I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Me, I'm sitting here like, oh, yes. If I did not like Zach and Fatima, 
Baby, I fell in love with him right then and there. I said, bitch, that is me, okay? Because I'm going to hype my woman up. Bitch, you fucking did that, especially when it's somebody that's coming after them. Oh, no, you stood up for yourself and you took care of that, baby. That is... Woo, all right, take them drawers off, okay, bitch? Shit like that excites me, okay? Somebody that can stand up for them say, uh-uh, they sexy. I said, uh-uh, they gonna fuck after this, of course, of course. And then Andy was like, uh-uh, don't do that shit. Stop it, okay? She was like, nah, but for real, what happened was he did all that. I had my boys come out there and, um, you know, rough him up a little bit. I had him choke him out to make it seem like he died or whatever. He just went unconscious and he woke up in the hospital. The nigga all good. But at the same time, though, at the same time, though, he hit me in my face. You see this bruise right here? And I did that, you know, because I knew that the bruise would be really out there the next day. But I did that on purpose, okay? Because I really wanted him to do that so that my boys can come and fuck him up. Because at this point, Zach was like, uh -uh, I'm finna go kill him. I'm finna go get him. She was like, no. Nah, it's cool it's cool but baby listen listen that ain't even the best part the best part is strip that motherfucking naked and put him on the hood of his car bitch and they was just going off and they just ah. i said bitch andy stared at that like this um let me take a couple of steps back because this seems like a psychotic convention going on right here and I don't think I want a part of it. It just seems a little off. I'm a little stirred. I'm not used to all of this celebrating violence and stuff. So, um, hmm. You can still go to jail for something like that. That's still a felony, what you did. But, oh, oh, okay. You know, y'all want to do that. But, um, hmm. This seems off. And Fatima said, girl, you want to go look upstairs? It's like 90% finished. Zach said, come on, let's go show her the house. Let's go show her the house. Andy said, that's good. That's okay, because I'm about to get the fuck up out of here before some other shit pop off. And I don't want to be a part of this, because this is a little mm -mm, too much for me. So, y'all do y'all little thing. Mm -mm, okay. Andy said, I don't want no parts of this, all right? Bitch, after that, them two was celebrating. And they said, you know, I said... You know, because Zach was like, this is why I fucking love you. This is why I fucking love you. I said, ooh, <laughs> what y'all about to do? Girl, Zach tore that uh, goddamn sweater off, and they went on us. I said, I know that's fucking right. Go ahead and knock it out. They had some nasty sex that night. I know it. And they probably did it on the floor because ain't no bed up there, bitch. Anyway, I said, ooh, that was Zach and Fatima. I was all the way here for it. Meanwhile, let's get to Andy. Andy get to the parking lot, okay, because at this point... Karen had called her and said that she was going to come over to her place. Because at first she wanted to hook up with Karen and I think, um, you know, have her come down there. But she said, you know what? I'm going to come down there to your place. She was like, okay, cool. Girl, Andy gets to her parking lot of her, her parking garage, passed by her parking space. And there is a blue Royals, Rolls Royce in the parking spot. Now, first, let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this, okay? We have to be honest with ourselves. Now, would you have accepted all of that? Gary did that shit, okay? Because, listen, she was like, who the fuck is this in my parking space? All right? Who is this? You know what? I'm about to write them a letter. Teach him a, uh, teach them a lesson. I said, ooh, you're going to write a letter, bitch, and they still going to be up in your parking space. So, what do you... <laughs> I said, Eddie, go get the... uh, Go get them downstairs or whatever, you know? And so, when she about to put the letter out there, girl, Gary popped up. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Don't do that. And he had this grin on his face like he really knew what he was doing. Like, yes, this is what it is. This is what it is. This is going to get her. This is going to get her. I said, take that shit off your face, okay? But then again, he probably had that grin on his face because he knew how Andy is, all right? Let me tell you something. I said, Andy, don't fall for the bullshit. And see, Gary, he started talking about some, listen, this your car. It's your name on it. You it's inside of your name. Here go the keys right here in my pocket. Here, you move the car. I'm not gonna move the car. You move the car. Come on, you, you sure you don't want to take it for a spin? Gary, I don't I, I don't I don't want the car. I don't want the car, okay? Like I'm not gonna get in it. He was like, You're not gonna tow the car because it's like uh it's a it's gonna be really expensive. That's a five hundred thousand dollar car. I said, Well, did we really need to know the price? It's a roll, it's a roll, it's a rose, okay? Get your right, get your eyes right. It's a rose. It's an expensive car. We already know that, okay? I said, Gary, this is where you messed up, especially for me, with me, because 
not only did he say that, <clears throat> he said it's also filled with a whole bunch of the designers that you like. You know, Louis Vuitton, okay? Givenchy, okay? You know, all of that stuff. Christian Louboutin. I said, bitch, oh, oh, okay, cool. She said, well, damn, bitch, I like black designers, too. He said, it's some 10000 She said, what, you put $10,000 worth of shit down there? Where the black designers at? Oh, what's on back there, too? I said, oh. Now, the whole time I'm saying, damn, Andy, don't fall for this bullshit because at this moment, it's the reason. It, it, it was just the way he was rolling off the numbers. Like, he was tallying it up. Like, oh, I got you a $500,000 car. I got you $10,000 plus worth of um, your uh, designer clothes and, and, and your favorite designers and all that stuff in the back seat. Also, I got a million dollars worth of diamonds back there. Baby, I'm sitting here like, Andy, don't fall for that shit because what Gary is doing is he trying to buy you back. And that makes me think that he thinks that law of you that all it takes is for you to be throwing money at like you some random ass gutter ass bitch that's down on her luck and can't afford nothing of her own i mean granted you got money it's cool to have somebody else spend some money on you too that's fine but don't throw no money at me and all these numbers at me as if i can't do for myself or if that's all that it's gonna take for me to take you back after all the shit you done did to me I said, why would you do that to that lady? I'm, that's what I'm thinking, right? And I tweeted that shit. But at the same time, I'm also thinking I'm listening to the numbers. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> like, damn, somebody could do all this. <laughs> I was like, Andy, now would I be mad if you took it? Yes, I'd be mad if you took it. But at the same time, I'd be like, you know, if you, a, a small part of me wouldn't be mad. Because listen, bitch, that's a lot. Million five right there. You got a million in dollars, five hundred thousand dollars in the car, plus how many thousands of the, the, the designer? That's almost two mil. That's over half a mil and a half, okay? And I'm sitting here like, don't take the shit, Andy. Don't take the shit, Andy. Andy was like, <sighs> she went from, I'm not finna take this. I'm not about to take this shit, okay? You think you can buy my love? Is that what you think? You think you can buy me back? Oh, and it's a million dollars worth of diamonds in the back. I, I said, I'm not going to take this, okay? You really think that you're going a million dollars? Okay, you said that you, uh, no, I'm not going to, that's the car. That's what was going on in Andy, uh, in Andy Man. Because that voice started shaking. Because she ain't know what the fuck to do. She was like, listen, bitch, I can't be broke. Okay? I can't be back. You can't buy my love. Okay? That's what you not going to do. But at the same time, that car do look nice. Bitch, I probably would have took it because it's my color. That's my favorite color, bitch. That is my favorite color. Fuck them diamonds because I don't really give a shit. And fuck the designers because, bitch, I'm 9 out of 10. Unless it's getting custom made, I can't fit the shit unless it's some shoes or whatever and a bag. He was like, oh, I got your Birkins and shit back there. Oh, I forgot all about that. He said Birkins and all these other bags too. So, bitch, let's just say it's probably like $2 million right there. I said, oh, fuck a Birkin. I don't, I don't, fuck all that. Fuck them diamonds too. Um, you could have just put the cash in the back seat. I would have took the duffel bag and I would have just left. Okay. You know, she was like, he said, you keep it. You do what you need to do with it or whatever. But I'm a back. I'm going to earn your love back. I'm going to earn you back. She was like, no, you're not. No, 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 you're not. I said, Andy, stop playing because you already know you're going to give in to this man. You're going to give in to this man. That's what you're going to do. She get on the phone with Gary Lee calling Karen. Karen was like. Typical, okay? Typical. He trying to buy you. What you say? You not going to um, fall for it. Not, not, I mean, no, I'm not going to fall for it. I mean, <laughs> she said take the shit and pawn it. Because I was thinking the same thing. Get some money off of it. Bitch, get a car to Danny or whatever. She was like, well, listen, I'm going to come over there to the crib and we'll talk about it later, okay? And so that's what was through with them, okay? I said, Andy going to keep that shit. We see she get pulled over. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be some racial shit. That's the reason why she got pulled over in that nice car. And then look at who pulled her over. It was being real aggressive with her. But anyway, moving on from that. Speaking of Karen. <clears throat> well, hold on. Let's just go to Maurice. Maurice gets another phone call from freaking Q. Q then took the plea deal. Q about to get out. Q then told them an address, which is 
Maurice's address because he's going to be on the ankle monitor. He do have to go back to jail, uh, to court, but he's scared also because he already know they're going to try to kill him because he snitched. He rolled over on them. And Maurice said, damn, bitch, you ain't take no time to think about this or nothing. You just went on ahead and said, I'll take it, huh? And then going to give him the address. I said, see, Maurice, you set yourself up for this and you doing this on purpose because you want this boy to keep on playing cat and mouse with you. And you the cat. No, you want to be the mouse so bad, but you and you making him the cat. Okay, you like this cat and mouse game that's going on. You like him, and you trying to make it seem like you don't. And this is probably the most excitement that you had in a minute in your life, okay? Somebody actually fiending and coming over on you. He said, listen, well, listen, that ain't what I meant, coming over on you. <laughs> anyway, I said, uh-uh, leave that little boy alone, okay? Block the calls, move, because he going to fag you. He going to fag you, and you're going to let him in. You're going to let him in. After all this, I said, this is so dumb to me. This part of Maurice's storyline is so dumb. You put a gun to me, bitch. I'm not going to do that, okay? You come to my job and try to rob it. Oh, no, we're not going to do this, okay? It's over. It's done with. I want you in jail. I want you in jail for the maximum, okay? Nah, we ain't finna have no sympathy because of my childhood and your child. Girl, fuck all that. Meanwhile... Calvin up there trying to, Calvin in his lace, in his blouse, okay? Now, see, why they be doing this to Calvin? Now, I, I be trying to take up for Calvin. Like, Calvin is a metrosexual, okay? That's all that it is. You know, he likes to dress. He likes to take care of himself. He's well-grown. Cool. Fine. That don't mean nothing else, okay? But this whole situation about um hooking him up, hooking up one of his friends with Maurice, and Maurice trying to get out of him, who is it? You think, who who is it, okay? Listen. Let me just tell you this. Do not try to hook me up with somebody unless I tell you to hook me up with somebody. Don't try to surprise nobody on me or nothing because you're going to get a situation just like this. Especially if you're supposed to be my friend, bitch, you're supposed to know exactly what I like. Okay? So, obviously, more recent Calvin ain't really good girlfriends like that. Okay? Because, listen, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Girl, when the guy comes over that is for Maurice, he comes in with makeup. He's feminine. Okay, he's feminist. He's one of those makeup queens. Okay, fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you automatically, and, and, and looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving because it be some feminine tops. Okay, and tops are the one who be doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? And we clearly know that Maurice is a bottom. We saw how fast he dropped to the floor when um Q dropped them pants to suck that off. Okay, you know, Q was drilling his shit. You know what I'm saying? He was in love with it. But at the same time, I guess Tyler missed the memo to say that, you know, looks can be deceiving and this top can be, this feminine boy can be a top. I know that that's possible, but listen, girl, and I'm trying to be correct in my stance, but I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. When I saw old boy come through the door, I said, now sis, first of all, Calvin was like, why y'all have Calvin change his voice up and be like, oh, hey, girl. Well, well, I said, and I said, you're playing into the fact that people already think the boy gay. Okay, that's one. But when our boy came through the door, I said, now I know that could be feminine tops, but that nigga don't give me top. That nigga give me bottom. I said, now Calvin, what the fuck they supposed to do together? They supposed to bump pocketbooks? Y'all don't know what bottoms is. That's too, that's, they catching it. Okay, they the one getting fucked. Okay, they don't do the fucking. They don't want getting fucked, okay? I, I hate to be so graphic, but that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, what the hell are they supposed to do? Now, they they, they can if they want to. You know what I'm saying? And it's possible. It's it's You could be versed. You know, you could do both positions. Some people are strictly tops. Some people are strictly bottoms. And that's not what they want to do. That does not get them off. Get them, you know, they want to get fucked. They don't want to do the fucking. And I'm sitting here like... Oh, boy didn't even know that he was supposed to be there as in, you know, like to hook up and probably be dating or whatever. He was told that they was supposed to be like friends or something like that. I'm sitting here like, I was with Maurice. Like, bitch, you, you, you live in the same apartment with me, okay? You see what I like. And then Vanette, uh, 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 Sabrina was in on this too. And you mean to tell me, bitch, you've been on me longer than Calvin. And you 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 don't know what I like. Bitch, he was like, this is what you be... I, I see you around all the time. Just because you see me around feminine people or whatever don't mean that that's what I really want. Or that could be my good Judy, okay? That don't mean that we fucking. I said, that is how we should know right then and there. If y'all didn't, Calvin ain't gay. Because Calvin don't know shit. And he grew up with two gay dad. I said, bitch, what the fuck they supposed to do? Like Maurice said, are we supposed to bump cats? 
<laughs> are they supposed to scissor each other? What is going to happen? I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't hook me up with somebody and you don't, and I didn't ask you to, okay? Because you're going to get shit like this. I said, what the fuck is going on here? All right, I said, get off my screen. Meanwhile, we get to Danny, okay? Danny, she stopped the sex traffic, okay? The Logan guy, he was waiting for this girl to get off the uh, plane, and she came off. She was very scared looking. Danny had her over there, caught him. He tried to run through the shoe, fell. Okay, fine. Boom. Moving on from that, okay? Let's get to Karen right quick. <laughs> Karen got clients. Bitch, we ain't seen this goddamn shop this full since season one, all right? Karen finally got clients up in her whole shop waiting for the... It's a line waiting to get the shit done, people walking in or whatever. And so, um, <clears throat> what wound up happening is Miss Pam said she called the health department on old boy who took her clients, all right, and got, her, got his shit shut down. So that's why the clients came back. First of all, I would have been like, money is money. I need this money. But then I would have kind of looked at them crazy and be like, you hoes ain't loyal, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna get my money. And I would have charged him a little bit more just for them leaving and trying to come back when old boy out of service. All right. So it was one of her other clients that always been there who left, you know, and she was like, Well, what made you come in on Wednesday? She was like, Girl, I got a date with this country boy, okay? Now country boy could have been black, could have been white, could have been Hispanic or whatever. She just said country boy, okay. Aaron, I mean, uh, Karen automatically thought it was Preston, all right, of course, which we knew it was going to be. And I'm sitting here like, oh, okay, you know, because she was trying to fish around for the girl's, uh, the, uh, the boy's name, and the girl forgot it. She said they met at the gas station the day before, whatever. She didn't want to pick get picked up at her house because she don't know him like that, so she was going to have him pick her up at the uh, salon. She was like, okay, cool. And she said, listen, since I don't know his name, when he get here, could you just ask him for me? And she was like, okay, cool. So, of course, Karen would go in the back and call Danny and tell her that, you know, he's supposed to be talking to somebody. She said it was a country boy and i said bitch why are you being messy and I'm, I'm glad that danny picked up on her being messy you're being messy as shit because y'all in goddamn georgia half the motherfucking city and state is fucking country okay i'm just saying i'm just saying but we knew who it was so when this all went down of course it was preston of course it was preston preston didn't know who karen was though but i guess karen knew who he was or did she know who he was but Danny was right behind him, okay? And she was like, oh, so this is what we're doing? Let me just say this. Let me just say this, okay? Danny, you have no right to be upset. You have no right to be upset that he finna go on a date with somebody else. Because you broke up with him. You told him to get the fuck up out your apartment and you told him that it was done. So therefore, what are you upset for? Don't put out shit that you don't mean. What he was supposed to do, wallow and sit around and not do nothing? Oh, you expecting him to not um move on so quick. Is that what it is? Listen, if he want to get his little dick wet, let him get his dick wet because you ain't doing it no more, okay? He probably looking for a relationship. Bitch, and this he, he went with another black girl. I said, oh, so you got to taste, uh, you got to taste of the ancestors. I feel like I shouldn't have said that. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going to just go. I'm going to just go. I'm going to just go. Anyway, this episode was cute. It was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, Fatima and Zach, for life, okay? Girl, let me get my ass up off of here. Um, yeah, girl, what? I'll see y'all later. Peace.